Hey guys, I am 33 weeks pregnant and my mom is here today, which is so awesome. She's taking care of little Reese. If you're new to my channel, we have a two year old named Reese and we're expecting baby number two. I have had one heck of a pregnancy again. My pregnancy with Reese was hard too, but just a lot of sickness and fatigue and pain and just not an easy pregnancy. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to take advantage of my mom being here and Reese being taken care of and I'm going to do some baby prep. It is time I make it less and less functional as this baby grows in my belly. So um, I've not quite had an easy stage of the pregnancy yet and I'm really feeling like I need to nest. I need to get ready for this baby. I'm in Reese's nursery right now which will eventually be the new baby's nursery. We're gonna move Reese, what is in our now office, but our now office, it's not ready to be cleared out yet. So quite honestly, I mean, at least the first few weeks, maybe months, the new baby will be in our room. So we might do that switch over just after she's born. I'd like to do it before, but I don't know, time's a ticking. So anyway, I just feel like it's time to start doing some baby prep. So first up, this is the Graco Sense to Snooze Motion Bassinet with cry detection technology. I was looking at this bassinet as well as the Four Moms Motion Bassinet. Both seems like really good bassinets. Um, they're both alternatives to the Snoo, which is crazy expensive. And I ended up just going with this one. It seemed like it had good value, good reviews. And I'm excited to put it together and try it out. Okay, it's set up. It wasn't working when I was pressing on and I was trying to figure it out and I reread the manual and I hadn't connected um, a wire from this leg to right here. So that was the problem. And I'm so excited though. So that was my bad, but it works. Let me show you how it works. Here is on and then, so here's the slowest. medium and the fastest so there is a little bit of a noise but we always use white noise with our babies so I don't think it'll be a problem that will be so helpful for the newborn phase oh my goodness and then over here I know that you can pick like a favorite setting and um, like a cry detection setting so if they cry like you can have vibrate come on or something. This is vibrate. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there is a little bit of a vibrate noise, but like I said, we always use white noise, so it's not a big deal. And then you can use their white noise. And music. Like a water nature sound. I think they have a few different sounds here. Well, 
Well, I am very excited about this purchase and I'm excited that I have this set up. I don't know, there's just something comforting about having like, okay, we know where the baby will sleep. We're, we're good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in this corner of the nursery for now and we will just pull it out when the baby is here and move it to our room. I am just adding some diapers and wipes to this little organizer and I'm just gonna leave it in there. So it's just like a little baby station <laughs> that we just need to move in our room. Now I'm going to get out my car seat travel system. So we went with the Ebb and Flow Pivot Expand and a lot of people say this is kind of a dupe for the Uppa Baby Vista V2 series. So it's a fraction of the price, great value. Sorry, I'm out of breath just from walking around to pregnancy. But here is what it is. So what I like about it is we had a similar even flow system last time, but it didn't turn into a double. This one can turn into a double. And our one from last time, we traveled several times with it and it just got beat up so much in airports. Next time I think I'm gonna invest in like a car seat cover or something, if it's gonna be getting checked and like that kind of thing. So yes, very excited about this and let's get it out. Well, that was stinking easy. I would say a lot easier than the bassinet. Like, I didn't even look at the instructions, guys. I just put it together. So, first, here is the infant car seats. And I like how plushy it is. I feel like this will be really comfy for a newborn. I also like the all-black design. That's what I picked because I was feeling sleek. It can come on and off of here. And then... Here is the toddler seat. This can come on and off, obviously. <laughs> and so you can use it. These slide down, so this can be a little more centered if you're just using it for the infant seat or if you're using it as a double stroller. You can, um, you can just move that up and then it'll be a double stroller for both your kiddos. You can also use just this seat and use it alone. So like if I wanna use just the toddler seat, I can take this off. I can put this up here kind of centered and it reclines back and stuff. So we might just use that for the baby sometimes. And you can also buy a matching seat, which we may do eventually. So if you want to like real seats. And look how giant this basket is. We always had a ton of stuff in our stroller basket. So this will be awesome. I can do with two kids, you know, like there will be a diaper bag, maybe multiple coats, blankets, spit cloths, all of it. So very excited that this is ready to go. Um, I'm gonna put the car seat with its base and have that in the garage ready to go, I think. And then I'll just fold this up and we will be prepared for two kids. Now, I am going to start packing my hospital bag in 33 weeks. Maybe a little early, you say, but I'm just doing all this in case I get like crazy non-functional. And it feels good to get things done, you know, like have the basics ready. She'll have a car seat, she'll have a place to sleep. So <laughs> we will be somewhat prepared. And I have that nesting instinct, you know, like I got to sleep in a little today and I got to take a nap today because my mom was here. So that helps, but um, anyway, let's go ahead and pack the hospital bag. So I like this suitcase because it has rollies, so that'll be easy to take into the hospital. And then it has two sides, so I'll have like one side baby, one side me. I've gathered just like a pile of things basically 
that I want to bring. So first, this is a postpartum belt that I wore postpartum with Reese. And some people like these, some people don't. My hospital for vaginal births did not provide them. And it's just kind of nice to like, I don't know, feel supported in that area after you have a baby. I don't think I wore it till like a full 24 hours after I delivered. But it made my back feel nice and my belly feel nice. Like you don't have to wear it super tight or anything. And I think it maybe can help your uterus shrink down, maybe not. I don't know. I liked wearing it, so I'm going to bring one. My mom gave me a matching robe, matching swaddle sets with Reese and with this baby, which is just so sweet and cute to have in the hospital, so we're going to do that again. Yeah, the swaddle came with a little hat. How cute. Oh my goodness. I, I love little baby things. This is making me really excited. All right, I'll put that swaddle and hat in the baby section. I'm going to bring just a couple, just two of these little newborn onesies that have the buttons along the side because with your newborns, you don't really like pulling things over their head. It can be kind of a sensitive area, so this way you can just snap and unsnap. A lot of times with newborns in the hospital, you keep them kind of naked under their swaddles anyway, so you can do skin to skin easy, but these can be nice to have. I'm bringing this <laughs> cute little Posh Peanuts newborn set that is so cute it's a zipper which is awesome for newborns and changings and this may be what we go home in this is a newborn knotted gown that I bought that also would just be super nice if we're feeling like putting clothes on the little one and it has um, this nice little mitten thing so yeah super nice and I think that's it on clothes. Like I said, you don't need to bring a ton of clothes for your baby because you kind of keep them naked some of the time. I'm bringing three different little newborn hats. The hospital will give you a hat, but look how cute this bow is. That's so sweet. And I don't know, I just like her to have a little bow. For me, I'm bringing this pajama shirt. So it's nice it has buttons because of breastfeeding so that's nice and then it's pantsless it's a nightgown which is nice too postpartum and postpartum you don't always want to like stay in their gowns and stuff so it's nice to have pajamas and a robe i'm putting three different nursing bras in here for me these are black amazon ones my favorite this top is easy to pull down for nursing um probably for coming home and just some yoga pants that are real big and loose and would be good for coming home too. And then I'm going to add my birth plan in here. I made two copies. It's so helpful to have like all your wishes written down. They like make copies and then give one to the doctor, one to the nurses, have one up on the wall. I really liked having a birth plan written down. Just some of the things that I have. Get up a girl as soon as acceptable because some people like to wait. I'm like, as soon as you say I'm good to go, cool, don't need to experience anything, I don't need to. <laughs> I told them ahead of time we want to take a lot of photos and videos, so they're not surprised by that. Said skin to skin after birth, breastfeeding only, hopefully, you know. And then I asked for a postpartum room with two beds because our hospital actually does that if you ask. So, good tip, you know, makes for a less crabby husband. Um, here are just a couple newborn passies. Um, a little thing of Aquaphor for maybe like diaper rash. Besides like Aquaphor, that's the only like personal care things I'm really bringing because you can use the hospital's diaper and wipes. They'll probably give the baby a bath. And then postpartum items, I'm just going to use the hospital's really besides my postpartum belt. Um, that is the main thing. And then I'm going to add toiletries and makeup last minute. I am throwing in this phone charger now with the extra large cord. And yeah, I think that's good for now. I'm sure I'm going to add things as we go. Um, I'm going to bring a nursing pillow, a blanket, you know, just like a few other things. But I just kind of wanted to get started on this. Okay, I think that will be it for this vlog. I feel a lot better now that I got a few things done for this baby. 
and I hope you enjoyed me figuring things out. I would love if you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, maybe leave some newborn advice, and I will see you in my next video.